Colin. Congratulations. You look like you were playing with real self-confidence up there. I felt really good. Uh, um, what can I say? There's nothing better than people not thinking you're going to win. And um, no disrespect to Scott Rand, he, he's been playing. He's been playing some lovely darts, and he really has. Um, but I'm not finished. I'm not over and done with yet in this game. And um, he's going back to commentary now. Um, he's at this event. I'm coming back here tomorrow night. You look like when you were up there. You look like you were really enjoying yourself. Really starting to enjoy yourself again. Not putting any pressure on yourself. Is that the best way to go out and play? Yeah, I, well, I think so. I mean, I looked at. Um, so I looked. I didn't really look at the crowd, but I heard them. You can hear them. <laughs> I think uh, I think the whole of London heard them, uh, and that's fantastic. Whereas over the years, I'd have let that get to me. Mm. I didn't let it get to me tonight, I've, and I said it in my first round game. I haven't let it get to me. I'm just I'm just here. I'm just playing some darts. I'm trying to enjoy myself. And I'm trying to have a little bit of fun. Um, but at the end of it, the prize is massive. The prize is to become the um, Labrook.com World Darts Champion. Um, I've won the World Match Play, I've won the World Grand Prix. Um, I've been runner-up in the Premier League and whatever. I think the next thing left for me, um, as and if my time is going to be up, according to some people, is to win the World Championships. Um, big upset last night. Was it a big upset? Um, well, he deserved it on the. On well, the I, th I think they played absolutely fantastic. I think they said, like I said in the commentary, um, it was 4 1. It wasn't as if it was 4 2, 4 3, and it was nip and tuck. It mm. was um, it was over and done with. Um, so it was said last night that um, this tournament is wide open. Um, I'm one of them wide open people. Absolutely. What about that 167 as well? Pretty special. <laughs> uh, of course it was. Yeah, I'll be, um, I'll be an absolute tart if I said to you that um, it wasn't something special. But the simple fact is, it put me three one up instead of being two all. Um, but you know, I'm, I think if you watch it, the playbacks, I hit the sixty. The sixty and the fifty-seven are easy, and I went boom, boom. And if you actually watch the playback, I think you'll see that I held it just that split second longer, and it went just inside. And um, you know, I, I spoke to Scott just there, and um, he said to me, he "said that hurt me." Yeah. And um, I felt as though it hurt him as well. That would hurt anyone, you know, to go two all or three one up. It was the timing of it. Really. Yeah. yeah. And um, Jesus, listen, let's get one one thing straight. I'm over the moon. I'm absolutely over the moon. I'm in the last sixteen. At the World Championships, I haven't done this for a little while. I'm playing all right. I'm not playing fantastic, but I'm throwing some half decent stuff. And I like to think that um, I can push on because I think there was a lot of people out there that thought Rand was going to do a number on me. And um, I've been here before, Scott hasn't. And that's not being uh, disrespectful or detrimental towards Scott. Um, just you know, I just, yeah, it's just the experience. I went up there and I enjoyed myself, which is what I've done, you know, the last couple of rounds now, and move on to the next one. I don't care who I get next day. <laughs> I'm just going to go up there and enjoy myself. Colin, wonderful to speak to you again. Best of luck. Lovely. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Cheers.